Hey guys, how's it going? People always ask me, what do you need a pedal board for if you're a mandolin player? Coming up is the answer. Of course, anyone that knows me at all knows that I started out as a guitar player. So having a pedal board is not that unusual really for me. The main factors in having a pedal board and my reasoning are pretty much the same as being a guitar player. So you can always have the sound that you want under your fingertips. It's a little less obvious with the mandolin. It's mostly reverbs and echoes, a small bit of boost just for volume sake if you're taking a solo. And of course EQs to help with having the sound that you like with you at all times. Once I've sent my DI box to the desk, my sound should be really easy to dial in. And then for the most part, just straight up and down EQs. Off with the lid. So this is the box that I use every night. Uh, out of the case goes my stand, which just folds out. Mandolin on that. Chromatic tuner. Equalizer. This is to give me a little bit of boomy stuff in the bottom end so that I can do some rhythmy kind of noise. This is the more pure boost, which just gives me a bit of lift for when I'm doing a solo or so. And this is the shim verb. I get reverb. This is the LR Bags Paraacoustic DI, which is actually the last in the chain. This is the Joyo American, which is an amp simulator. And I use this with the full band. When the guitar player is taking a solo, I uh, sort of add a bit of the grunginess to the bottom end. And this is just an echo fuel tank over here. And that's just for the power. And underneath there, cables, microphone strings. Now this whole top part you can take away with you. If you're in a smaller place, just use that like that. I must say though, recently I've been thinking of getting rid of my huge gator case and with the advent of the smaller Amour pedals for instance, I think I could probably get what I need into a pedal board that's let's say that size which I would be able to carry around with me and easily take on planes, for instance, if I was going somewhere. Because the mandolin goes on the plane, no problem. All I really need is tuner, EQ, reverb, echo, boost. I also have an amp simulator for the bigger gigs, but I'm fairly certain an overdrive would work much the same way. Anyway, I'm considering it. Tell me what you guys think. Put it down in the comments below. Let's talk about this. All right, cool. So that's my reasoning for carrying around a huge box full of gear to every gig as a mandolin player. Now, don't forget to subscribe down below, hit the bell so you remember what's going on, and don't forget, now's the time. <laughs>